So, hi, I'm Anna and I want to show you today how we can load 3D images into Elastic as a stack of images. So first we go to make a new project, which has the load stack button. Um, then we can specify the path to where the stack lies. Let me go to the data directory where it is. So these images are uh, fairly low resolution electron microscopy brain images, kindly provided by Graham Knott. Let's not take the whole thing, but just select a smaller sub volume, which you can do with these controls over here. And let's just see what happens if we don't specify any other option. Well, you can see that the image is indeed displayed, but maybe it would be better if we inverted the colors. So let's explore some of the options that are provided in the load stack dialog. So let's select the same stack again. And select the same sub volume again. And then invert the colors. We could convert to grayscale, but here we don't have to because the data is already grayscale. One can also normalize the data, which means that the most the maximum of the data intensity values become completely white and the minimums become completely black and the rest is stretched between black and white. If you want to downsample the sum volume to a certain size, because for example it doesn't fit into the memory of your machine, you can do it with this option, so you can downsample any of the dimensions, but we don't really have to do it here. Uh, the last option is also quite interesting, it allows you to save the whole stack into one file. Now the uh, advantage of this is that, well, first you have the whole thing in one file, and second is that you can later on use it for automated processing in batch mode. So let's use this option and uh, go to my data directory and save it there as, for example, some volume one. And let's load what we have. And here, well, much better with inverted colors. Now remember this file that we saved? Now we can actually load the whole stack from this one file. And that's what we have the load file button for. So let's go to where we saved it. That was sub volume one. And if you click these additional options here, you actually have exactly the same options as you had in the load stack. Well, we don't need to use any of them anymore because the colors are already inverted and the we already have a small subset, but if we wanted to, we could. So let's load that. And yes, we can confirm that it's exactly the same stack. We can scroll through it all in. Now that was um, loading for grayscale images. Now imagine you actually have a stack that was recorded in several channels and you want to load them all together and look at them in different colors. We have an option for that too. So let's go to the load stack and now select a different data set which was kindly provided by Anna Martin Vilalba. And here we see the option that load multi-channel data is one image, and we can put the channel identifiers for the um, different colors. That's what they were in this data set. Just to make sure that it did read them correctly, we can check with the preview files button, and we see that, yes, all seems okay. And now we can load a stack. And we see that it correctly loaded them in different colors. Well, that would be it for today. Enjoy using Elastic.